We can't go to the stars, you know, play around with them, do experiments with them like we can in other fields. What we see is what we get. My name is Mary Williams. I come from New Zealand. I'm 34 years old and I'm an astronomer. I work at the Leibniz Institute for Astrophysics Potsdam. It is great working in a place which has a lot of history. I mean, where Einstein would have been around as well. These beautiful buildings here with the historical telescopes. What I'm interested in is how galaxies form and evolve, studying this process in the Milky Way itself. Our Milky Way is just interesting for humans in general because it's our galaxy. So I then moved to the bright stars because there's too much light That's for them to. I work on an international collaboration of about 50 researchers from around the world. We're doing a survey of stars in the Milky Way. We require spectra of the stars, and this is time consuming. By using fiber optic spectrographs, we're able to do a lot of stars at once. Galaxies form via a hierarchical process where little galaxies um, merge together to form larger galaxies. And what I'm interested in is to look for remnants of these formation events. This is beautiful, was it? Yeah. I discovered a little galaxy that had been eaten by our own galaxy. The realization of a small dream I had. I'll show you when took two years to understand what I was seeing. Both of them should remove right. I mean, if you look at what people understood of the universe a hundred years ago and what we understand now, we really are in a golden age of astronomy. The 2011 Nobel Prize went to astronomy. This was very exciting for all of us. It doesn't happen so often. No, no, prizes aren't so important to me. I'm much more of a curiosity person. I'm happiest when I'm just working on a problem, trying to figure it out. You know, we're all trying to understand our place in the universe and trying to understand why we're here. And by studying astronomy, I'm contributing to that knowledge. You know.